So I've made this bathroom over not once, not twice, maybe three, four times. Honestly, I've really lost count and I've never loved it either time, but I think I finally got it right. everybody welcome to my channel i'm nia this is sensational design where we make life more sensational one space at a time everybody's new here because this is my very first video but if you like thrifting home decor diy all things home this is the spot for you so let's get into it this is the current state of my bathroom it really just wasn't giving it had gotten to the point i had just thrown some stuff together so it can look decent so the way I gather my ideas, I start a Pinterest board. I put what I dreamed the space to be, what's currently there, so I can see how all the elements work with each other. Things in my bathroom that I cannot change are the full white 4x4 tiles, the slate tile, and the pink tub. For about a year now, I've been really intrigued and in love with lime wash paint. And it's definitely something I wanted to incorporate in this bathroom. Also, I was really in love with this round mirror with the floating shelf. Before you start any makeover, it's really important to remove everything out of the space. I even removed the- Once I got everything out, I then gave the walls a really good wipe down. I went in with some dry decks. I like this pink kind because it turns white once it's dry and if you're impatient like me you kind of need something to tell you to hold on sis it ain't time yet because girl you're gonna mess it up before you even get started and don't make more work for yourself so just wait a minute once the speckle dried i then went in with a sanding block to sand down the excess because my walls are textured i'm not really trying to get it super smooth but just get the bumps and lumps off the wall the prep work in any makeover is crucial i mean crucial take the time to tape off areas i promise you will thank yourself later it is tedious it is boring it is annoying but that finished look that finished look, it's gonna give every time. Let's talk mood boards. After I've gathered all my ideas in Pinterest, I then like to take those to a different app, whether it be Paint, Milanote, Canva, whatever. So the overall aesthetic I was trying to achieve was that early New York pre-war bathroom, but more contemporary. The mood board basically becomes my shopping list and I use this as a tool to reference while I'm either shopping online or out in the stores to help me find similar or exact items to recreate my overall vision. For my first layer in the lime wash technique, I completely covered all of the walls in Succulent by Sherwin-Williams. Out of all three colors, this was my mid-tone. I have a dark, a light, and a mid. And so my idea was cover all of the walls in the mid-tone and then I will go back in with the dark to allow the light color to peek through and then use the lighter color as a highlight. And then this will create that layered effect that the lime wash paint has. After rolling the paint in the main areas, I then take a hand brush and at a slight angle, I run it along the ceiling and all the edges to cut in and fill in those areas. After the first coat, the walls look like this. Because we're going in with multiple colors, I will not be doing a second coat of this color, but instead my second coat will be of my darker tone. For that color, I use Big Dipper by Sherwin-Williams. To apply this color, I'll be using a seafoam sponge. To begin, you want to wet your sponge, this way it doesn't absorb all of your paint. 
you then want to dip the tip of the sponge into the paint and then dab it onto the wall creating cloud like formations after playing around with this for a minute i realized for the best organic look moving your hands in different directions working in multiple areas at one time at some moments i would dab on the paint come let it dry down for a second and then come back to it later to spread it out this helps create lighter and darker tones of the same color to give it a more visually textured and impactful look because i want all of the colors to blend together seamlessly i did not wait the two hour reco time before applying my third color which is taiga by sherman williams and just as before, I'll be using a sponge to apply this color. I dampened it with some water and then I began to pat it onto the wall into cloud-like formations just as before. Now this blends all the colors together beautifully. This project is the true definition of trust the process. If I told you how many times I got skeptical about if this will actually work or not, I mean, it happened all through the process. Kept working, it slowly turned into this. This right here is why the prep work is so worth it. It 100% makes a difference in your final product. With the paint now dry, I will be switching out the light fixture and both the faucet. To make this renter friendly, I will be keeping all original fixtures to this bathroom and storing them away. That way when I move, I can replace the items as well as the walls. I can paint them back to the original colors. Always check with your landlord before making any changes. Luckily, mine is pretty easy going and didn't mind my changes as long as I return it back to its original state. I installed the faucet and the light fixture off camera, but here are the glimpses of them installed. After finding the desired placement, I then began to install a drywall anchor to install the mirror because I won't be drilling into a stud. I start off by hammering, then screwing it into place, adding a screw, and then hanging my 36 inch gold frame round mirror that I found at Home Goods. Using the wall shelf from my previous bathroom design, I'm going to recreate the round mirror with the floating shelf. After determining where the mirror will start and stop on the shelf, as well as the depth, I then went to mark those spaces off. To cut out this space, I'll be using my jigsaw, but before I can cut it out, I need to first drill holes in each corner. You use a drill bit the same size as your blade, insert the blade into the hole, and then cut in the next direction. Once I had the space cut out, I then went into the bathroom to give it a dry fit to make sure it was good before I installed it. After maneuvering it around, I realized it was a tad too snug and I needed to do a little trimming. But so I didn't overcut, I decided just to shave it down a little with my sander. Once I determined the fit was good, I then went and stained the interior where I cut the wood just because I knew it would reflect and then I installed it. Using the three L brackets I used originally, I then went back after it was installed and I painted the brackets to match the wall so that it would be less visible. The transitions between the drywall and the faux panels always seemed a bit unfinished to me, so I cut and stained a piece of trim that matched the shelf and installed it. After a while though, it just seemed to be a bit too busy, so I ended up painting this the same color as the walls and it just made a more seamless transition. You'll see that in the final touches. 
To get perfect picture placement, I use painter tape on the back of pictures to mark off where the wall hooks are. Using a permanent marker, I mark the spaces, remove the tape, and place it on the wall where I think I would like the picture to hang. I also use a level to make sure that the holes I put into the wall are nice and level. This minimizes making unnecessary holes in the wall. After making sure it was nice and level, it was time for final touches. I added some two tier shelves under the sink for extra storage since I removed the mirror, switched out my door knobs, rolled out a new rug, added a stool, shower curtain and new hooks, soap pump, a towel to dry your hands. Here's a reminder of what it looked like before. If you have stayed tuned to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you are watching on the premiere date, July 8th, 2023, it is my 32nd birthday. So I would appreciate if you guys spam me up in the comments, tell your girl happy birthday. Tell me your favorite part of the video. Did you like the bathroom? Did you not like the bathroom? What do you guys think about my lawn wash technique? Please let me know. All comments welcome. This has been a very long journey and getting this video out here for you guys to see is my gift to myself. This is only the beginning. Mm -hmm.